Hello guys, in this video I'm gonna show you how to safely remove all the keycaps from a Logitech MX Keys keyboard. Um, most of the keys come off uh, pretty easily with a bit of care, but some, like the spacebar for example, have a different mechanism uh, with more hinges underneath. Okay, so I'll be using uh, this little blue opening pick, but a pry tool uh, like these two or even these ones are uh, also really good. However, I recommend using a plastic tool just to be sure you're not scratching anything. Okay, so for this video I'm gonna actually use this keyboard. Uh, it was already, like, yeah, it has a few keys popped already. And let's start with a regular key. Uh, these are super simple. I just slide the, the pick under the top edge and then lift. So for example, if I just go like this, actually let me just uh, make it closer. So you just slide the pick and then try to lift it. Okay, um, it's already popped. Let's try a new one. So for example, this one, you just go underneath and try to lift it. And it's that easy. Um, you can also use a screwdriver to take out the, uh, this plastic hinge. Uh, so you can see there are like, um, let's take this one. So there are like two, um, let's call them legs that are closer and two that are uh, farther away. Uh, you just have to go to those on the top, try to push the, um, the hinge to the top and then try to just slide the screwdriver underneath and you will just take them off. Okay, so the one on the left, it's already out. Let's try it on this side as well. Just slide it underneath and then try to pop it. Okay, so this one is out as well. Okay, so most of the keys are like this. However, there are a few exceptions. Let's take these keys, the caps lock, tab, and also the others. They have a hinge underneath. You just go, slide the pick underneath, and then try to just lift it a bit. Now I just have to take the key out. But this one is different because it also has like another hinge. You can see it has like these legs that just go in, right? So now I removed it. If I want to put it back, I have to go and first uh, insert those legs inside, put the key back, and then I just uh, tap on the bottom just to make it stay in the place. And then when it's there, you can feel it, it's just there. Uh, you can just press on it and it's back in. Okay, um, it is the same for the caps lock and also for shift. Now, if we look at the um, uh, control key, this one is different. You have to uh, remove it first from the bottom. Right now I don't have the key, but I can actually show you on this other keyboard. You have to just put a pick <clears throat> underneath from the bottom and try to just remove it. Uh, you heard those two clicks. Now you just take the, um, the lever out from there and then just try to maybe move it from this side. This one also has this hinge in there. You can see it. Um, and if I get the screwdriver, this one is different from the from the caps lock because this one enters like it, it has this 90 degree angle that goes in. Okay, so I can just remove it like this and it should be out. Okay, so this is how it looks like. It has this hinge. Now, if you want to put it back, it's again, you have to put those legs inside, and then put it back. And this one from the top part, just try to keep it there. And then, and now it's back in. Okay, if we go to the space bar, you have to to lift from the from the top okay a click was there now we have to go to the other side and do the same 
Okay, I heard the click there as well. When you when you hear those two clicks, you actually have to look on the other side. Let me see if you can see there is another hinge, the, the plastic hinge. And you actually have to go and try to put the pick inside of there and just slide it. Right. Okay, now I slide I slid it and I can actually see there are like two hinges on the on the um, space bar. So we have this hinge here uh, that's already like it's still attached to the space bar. And then there is another hinge that you saw uh, when I just tried to, to separate them. So this one has two hinges. Now to put it back, it is the same as the other one, uh, as the other keys. You just put it from the bottom until it's like, you can feel it, it's in place. And then try to just press on it and you hear clicks. Okay, now it's back back on. Good. Okay, so uh, we covered this ones from here. We covered the space bar. Let's move on the top side. On the top side we have, um, it was this escape key. This one was the same, like you have to go uh, from the top and we have the function function keys. These are, uh, these are different. Uh, you actually have to go on the right side and let's take, for example, this one, F12, right? So on the right side, you just insert the pick underneath and try to just um, lift it. Now I heard the click and you can just remove the key. Uh, it's all those keys are the same so you have to to put the pick underneath uh, from the right side and it is the same for these keys here uh, so like, like the lock one and whatever like the calculator screenshot and so on so you have to go on the left and try to lift it. However, these two, these uh, three keys uh, that you switch the device, these are from the top, so they are different. You have to insert the pick from the, uh, from the top, just like this, and try to lift it. Okay, I heard the click, and voila, it's, it's uh, out. Okay, we covered the top uh, line, the top row, now let's go to enter. So the enter key, you actually have to go from the left side and this one has two hinges, one around here and another one here. So what we're gonna do, uh, we just put the pick underneath uh, here, so on the left side, top left side, and try to lift it. Okay, that was the first click, the first hinge. And then we go on the bottom left and try to do the same. Okay, so we pop the hinges, the plastic hinges, and the the enter key also has like a metal hinge. And this metal hinge is the same as the caps lock, I think. You just um, you just use a screwdriver or something to just try to remove it. And you can see like those, oh, it actually has like two hinges, two metal hinges. Okay, and to put it back, it is the same. You have to insert those um, hinges, the top one as well. This normal hinge, this one has to enter. Let me try to show you. This one has to enter here you, you see those two um wait where are they this one and this one those two ears or whatever they're called loops so you have to put the hinge inside of those pretty tricky to to show this on camera but once they are there you can see that the key is 
somehow in its place and then we just have to click here and here to tap harder like okay this hinge is, is uh, set and this one as well another key that's different uh, it's actually those two keys you have to pop this from the right side so let's try to insert the pick there and because the space is really uh, really small there i will just try to put it from the from the top and then slide it on this side okay uh, it already popped and i can actually just take it out like this this one also has this hinge and you put it back just like this just like for enter or for the other uh, other keys that are the same like caps lock i think okay and that one is there okay now it is set and this time i have to set it from the left side first and then try to and it's the same for this enter key um, I'm actually curious how is this one the minus key let's see if I break it or not okay this one is the same as the other uh, normal keys so you put it back from the the bottom first you just slide it and tap okay this one is set as well and let's take a look actually at this shift key as well because i can't remember what this one was but i think it's again from the top and it might have two hinges so let's try on the left side first okay let me no it worked and if i slide the pick okay now it is out Good, so um, that's how you remove all the keycaps from the Logitech MX keys without damaging anything. Again, most of the keys are from the from the top side. It's everything that's like a, a square <laughs> a square key. And the others, I think I covered them all. So all these function keys, uh, it's from the right side. Same these ones the switch devices are from the top these two are from the right side and uh, yeah most of them are from the top but be careful of this uh, this control button because uh, this one is uh, is from the bottom side well if this helped you out feel free to leave a, a like if you have any questions drop them below and i'll try to help you out thanks for watching